of Dr. Jamal who is mashallah one of the best sincere people he and his wife and his family <coughs> may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them happiness Amen. in dunya and akhirah and those also who are always uh, visiting with us from his friends and his family and his near friends. May Allah bless them also. Uh, as uh, Dr. Jamal knows, when he come to visit us, usually we are student and we listen to him what he says. <laughs> I'm not here a, a teacher. I'm not here a different than you, we are all God's servants. We are all here coming to have good dinner. <laughs> so after uh, our holiday is finished, now we, today we have a new holiday. It is Dr. Jamal's holiday. <laughs> Especially for Rana, for like you pray, she's sick. One of my sister-in-law from Bangladesh, great Sufi Nakhpandi, she asked for prayers for her. She was sick getting better. And everybody else. Inshallah, Fatiha for them. Mm -hmm. Doctor, these boxes, they are written on them, spring water. If they, means they are also written on them natural. Means everything that is natural and everything that is spring water gives more appreciation it's, it shows us more interest than to drink a normal water, tap water. Spring water doesn't come from cities. Spring water comes from villages, mountains, nature. Cities, they don't have spring water. They have tap water. <laughs> and you don't know what is mixed with it. That's why always a human being run, they run to anything that is nature. And the indication of nature is that in it there is innocence. There is not, not too much hatred and not too much bad energy in it all goodness you can find in nature and we are happy to see this nature that you have here in your house overlooking the lake we hope that we drink from the heavenly spring Amen. if we are being given heavenly spring I think this is what human beings are looking for, for. They are not looking for anything else. I was in his country, Indonesia. And 
they asked me to speak about something that they like to hear. All the day and all the night we are hearing politicians want to conquer this country, want to conquer that country, want to invade this country, want to sell tanks here, want to sell weapons here, all over the world is the same. And also, we are hearing scholars from different religions telling you that if you don't do this, you will be punished. If you don't do that, you will be punished. Is that? Yes, sir. Is there anything else? They say, you don't do this, you will be punished. You don't do this, that you will be punished. We don't hear except hellfire, 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 hellfire. So, all in Indonesia, when you go to, a, to give a lecture, it's not like here or not anywhere, might be it's like Bangladesh or subcontinents, India or these countries, Pakistan. You'll have hundreds of thousands. At least you'll have 10,000. That is, if it is not big event, it is 10,000. If it is big event, it's 100,000. They invited us for the radio station. And it was a videotape for the television. And they said, can you explain to us something other punishment and hate? Because people, they fight with each other because of hate today. They hate each other. They want to be tyrant. Every one of us is tyrant on the others. He is not tyrant on himself. He is tyrant on his soul when he does something wrong. He is tyrant on his soul. But for his body he wants everything the best. The best clothes, the best food, the best pleasure. He doesn't care for anyone else. Don't think that the soul will not be struggling with the desires of the body because the soul belongs to heaven. As we know, Allah said in Holy Quran and in many other religions, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We are to Allah and to Allah we are going back. The soul will struggle a lot. The body likes desires, all kinds of pleasures. The body doesn't look except for pleasures. They said, can you say something different? I was thinking and I was thinking what to say, what to say. And then I saw a, a, a sign, a banner. In that uh, radio station is a big, huge auditorium, many people. Might be 1,000 people were at that time. It's a banner there and written on it, Chinta. When it's written Chinta, I thought Chita. <laughs> uh, I thought it's Chita, might be a monkey or... I was looking, but this has an N in it. Chita in French is C. H-I-T-A is nearly the same but we have with an N. I was thinking and thinking, someone clever was looking at me, he said, you are looking at this banner? I said, yes. I, I am reading Chinta there. He said, yes. I said, what is Chinta in uh, your language? He said, love. Huh? No. We didn't have Chinta there? No. Ah, huh? is good subject. Because this is what people they like. Not Muslims only, but a human race, even Stone Age. Huh? They say Stone Age. I don't understand how they say Stone Age. How, doctor? 
Do you believe there was a Stone Age? I don't know. In history, they say there is Stone Age. Archaeologists, they say there is Stone Age. But it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Because who was the first, first man and first woman? Adam alayhi salam and Hawa, Eve, in all religions. Did you see Adam with a, with a, a rock? And <laughs> a rock, carrying a rock like a knife and has nothing and where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Holy Quran, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا ثُمَّ عَرَضَهُمْ عَلَى الْمَلَائِكَةِ قال أنبئون الأسماء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا ثُمَّ عَرَضَهُمْ عَلَى الْمَلَائِكَةِ فقال أنبئون بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين قالوا سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم. Allah said in Holy Quran and other religion that Allah taught Adam عليه السلام all the names means all everything that he created he he informed about it he informed him with what language he spoke with him. And Allah said to angels, He said to them, tell me about the names that I taught Adam. They said, we don't know. You taught him, you didn't teach us. We don't know what kind of things you have taught him, Ya Rabbana, O Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Adam all the secrets of this world, all the secrets and the names of every person. We are Muslim, we believe in that. It's in Holy Quran. How then there is a stone age where they were speaking like whales and like fish? Huh? You know dolphins and the whales? They speak with them with what? With that uh, sound. Allah spoke with a whistle to Adam alayhi salam? No. Allah spoke with him uh, a language of the tiger? Or the lion. It's a stone age, they say. It's not a stone age. It's a modern life, better than our life, that Adam alayhi salam was able to listen and to hear what Allah is telling him. Did you hear what Allah told you? How we say we are civilized? When Adam alayhi salam was better off than us, he was able to hear what Allah is teaching him. He has better communication. Technology is not enough. Heavenly technology was able for Adam to hear it. We didn't reach that technology yet. Adam al asma'a kullaha thumma aradahum ala al malaika. He taught Adam all the names. Names of what? Your name, your name, your name, your name, your name. The trees names, the, the, the jungle names, the, the, the universe, planets, everything. Because when Allah said, I taught Adam all the names, means I told Adam whatever I have created. Allah. He didn't need a telephone. Today they say telephone is a civilization. Adam didn't, he heard, he, he heard his Lord with no telephone. A much better civilization. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, series of messengers. Allah spoke with him through Jibreel alayhi wa sallam. Taught him, taught him, he educated him, he told him, Ikra, read. Sayyidina Isa alayhi wa sallam, Jesus Christ. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him spirituality that he was teaching his disciples and he was being raised to heaven. Now you want to raise anyone to heaven, can you? You go only, how many miles? 100 miles up, that's it. 
they went to Mars, they spent three years or four years to reach Mars. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu in Naibatul Isra wal Mi'raj, in his ascension to the seven heavens to his Lord, went and came back in the same time that his uh, mattress bed was still warm. Which better technology? This technology or heavenly technology? How they acquire that? How they, they are able... We are speaking about prophets, but many, many other than prophets who are believers in prophets and believers in Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam, believers in Sayyidina uh, in Moses and Jesus and Abraham, they acquired such knowledge because their beliefs brought them to that level. How they acquired that? What was special in them that they were able to meet that criteria of hearing what cannot be heard, of seeing what cannot be seen, of speaking heavenly knowledge? What, what, what was the main trunk? You have the tree, you have a tree. Look, these trees they are huge. You have a big trunk here. And then, can you count the leaves, doctor? No. But these t uh, leaves has number, they have numbers. We, there is someone can count them. Don't think that they cannot count them. No. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give permission to one of his friends, Allah mentions them in Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala friends, they have nothing to fear or be sad. Allah will give them power, give them support. You think they cannot count these leaves, how many leaves on a tree? Because Allah said in Holy Quran, وَلَا رَبٍ وَلَا يَابِسٍ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُّبِينٍ Living and non-living, everything is in Holy Quran. It's been mentioned, but you need to get it out. You need to get these secrets out. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a secret code. A secret code from four letters in Arabic and in English, and in French. French is five letters. Uh, five or more? Yeah, five letters. In Arabic, Mahabba. Mahabbatullah. Mahabbatul Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mahabbatul Awliya al-Salihin. In English, love. Love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, as long as my servant approaches me through voluntary worshipness, I will love him. Yeah. I will love him. You are so happy now that you took, your, you took your grandson from your son and put him in your lap. And you are kissing him in front of us. <laughs> showing us love, is not? Yeah, what do you think about the one who created love? You think you think you love him more than Allah loves us? No. Who put that love in your heart? Allah. Yeah, of course, Allah put. Our Lord, our God put that love in our hearts. But that is limit. To Allah, there is no limit. To God, there is no limit. When Allah gives something, no limit. He gave you love to this child, two children, three, four, five, six, one dozen, then your son will say, I cannot be bring more, he said, no. <laughs> <His wife>. <laughs> <laughs> So then he will say to you, you have to raise them. I am busy working now, you are tired. <laughs> But in limits, even a dozen, 
It's in limit. Allah, when He gives, He doesn't ask. He gives generously. Allah said, if you approach me through voluntary worshipness, I will love you. What is that voluntary worshipness? To me is to be good, to visit the sick people, to help the homeless, <coughs> to take care of your brothers and sisters, your father and your mother, don't throw them in senior house. Our culture doesn't let us, our religion doesn't let us to throw our parents in senior house. Senior house, you call it? <coughs> Nursing, nursing house. Nice yeah. Nursing house. Hmm. Did you see in Indonesia any nursing house? Yeah. Very few. Yeah. Very few. Majumpu, but we have some. New fashion. New fashion, yeah. They, because they think they are doing something good. Take care of your parents yeah. at home, Shabu. not in senior house. Allah said, if you approach me through voluntary worshipness, I will love you. And if I love you, what do you think I'm giving you? I will be your ears that you can hear with, means I give you he uh, hearing, <coughs> things that you will hear about that you never heard it before, knowledge. I will make you to see things that you never saw before. You can see even there is a wall here, you can see behind the wall. اتقوا في راسة المؤمن فإنه ينظر بنور الله Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said be, be aware of the vision of the believer because he can see your heart. He can see what's going in your heart. Because Allah, He is looking in, in the light that Allah gave to him through that light. He used that light. Now, you say, how is this possible? Ask him. How is this possible? Ask this one. That doctor. You uh, cannot see? Can no, I'll ask this doctor. What a useless doctor you're asking. No, no, it's so simple. I'm giving an example. Ask this doctor or this doctor or any doctor. You are the specialist. You are, your son is specialist. You cannot see what is inside us with your radiologist uh, department, your x-rays. What is our x-rays? What x-rays are what? It's a light. It's a light. Energy. Energy that goes in. If you can see with your machine and the instrument, you cannot see with the light that Allah put in the heart of a believer, he can see whatever he wants through your heart. Don't think your x-rays only can see. No. There are saints that can see. They are friends of God. They can see. They are sincere. If you don't want to call them saints, sincere people, they can see. Prophet said, he said, Be aware of the piercing vision of the believer. Because he is looking with delight from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that x-ray, having the x-ray. There are x-rays today, they say MRI. Yeah. They are x-ray, they say CAT scan, and they give you a dye in order to see everything inside. It's not, doctor? Yes, sir. Yeah, Allah cannot give you a dye to check these people, to check hearts of people. He said, I will give him that power. I will love him. When I love him, I will be his ears that he can hear with. I will be his eyes that he can see with. I will be, I will be his tongue that he can speak with. I will give him power to speak without preparation in any knowledge. That's why you see many of these sincere people, sometimes they say things unbelievable. I give you an example, doctor. Might be some people, they say, oh, well, it's too much. It happened in front of me. There is a saint, a sincere person in, in Damascus, 
Syria, what is Syria today? His culture, Ahmad Harun. Very young. In his uh, uh, mosque, come everyone, scholar, many scholars they come. He's very simple, he sit on the, on the floor, in front of him, tea, drinking tea, not like uh, Pakistani tea or Bangladeshi tea, shy with milk, no milk there. Green tea or red tea? No Starbucks. Starbucks to take your money. What's, the, what's there is something stif different from Starbucks? You can make it at home. Uh, 5,000 years, 6,000 years from Adam, alayhi salam, from our father till today, they never uh, had Starbucks. Now we are going to kill ourselves for Starbucks. People were living without Starbucks. Why now they have to live with Starbucks? Because we are spoiled. People today are spoiled. They want to spend money, to waste money. If that Starbucks money will be saved and say, okay, I'm not going to drink Starbucks. If the whole uh, sincere people, believers in this country say, I, we don't want to eat, to drink Starbucks for one week. How much money they will collect? Hundreds of millions will collect. Send it to poor countries in Africa. Save people from AIDS. Is that better? Yes, sir. We don't think. Starbucks company will tell you, if you don't eat Starbucks, you'll get sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was drinking tea, normal tea. No, no Starbucks. Normal tea. And he's in Damascus, and they were discussing an issue, and they said, this person in Aleppo, who is around 400 miles away, knows about it. But in that time, no telephones like now. How to contact him? They have to go there to bring him and come. So it will take four hours going, four hours coming, and two hours two hour on the road, or two hours to prepare. It's ten hours. Already will be morning. It's finished. What he did, Sheikh Ahmad Harun, uh, he took his belt, take it out, and he put one side on his ear, one side on his mouth, and say, hello! <laughs> the telephone was ringing in that person's house. <laughs> Saying to him, come, I want you now to come as soon as possible. Four hours sharp, which take the road four hours, he was there. He said, oh my Sheikh, you are calling me, any problem? Everyone was surprised. How he heard, how he called. That's why when, you, when Allah loves us, He will give. He will give everything. Don't say, oh, it doesn't happen. No, it happens. That hadith of Prophet, no one can reject. It's an authentic hadith, it's a holy hadith, hadith Qudsi. Is more than a hadith, it's a revelation hadith. When we call it hadith Qudsi, means Allah revealed it to Prophet, Prophet said it as it is, coming from heaven. Until the end. Cannot, you cannot say no or yes, this is it. <coughs> Prophet said, "You will be. He will give you he, he, hearing the ears that he will. You will hear with. Give you vision from his vision. Give you words on your mouth from his words. Make you to sense what people cannot sense, and give you feet that people cannot cannot know. Makes you to go wherever people cannot go. Strange. I heard it. I come back." <laughs> What's going on? Keep hitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so what he said, I love you. 
means what is the secret word? Is love. When you are in love, everything open. When a boy in love with a girl or a girl in love with a boy, everything becomes a family. It will have a, a, a generation comes out. Allah is happy with that because it is Allah command to marry people today they don't marry they wait they wait they say oh we don't have money oh we have to we have to finish and then we have to do this and to do that Allah is the provider you are not the provider <laughs> Now two, if one stops, the second stops also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finger is enough. I will end quickly. So love is the most important and the evidence is one person came to Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi afdalu salatu wa salam when he was delivering his khutbah Jum'ah Friday Prophet was on the member and one person coming standing by the door and said Ya Rasulullah when is the day of judgment? when is the, resur the resurrection day? Prophet didn't answer because in Jum'ah you cannot answer when you are praying you cannot you cannot answer and sometimes we have problem on the planes. When we are flying on the plane, sometimes it's Maghrib time or Asr time. You have to pray, isn't it? Yes. So you are sitting, you pray wherever you are. Don't make uh, troubles or go and stand up and begin to pray. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on your chair as you are sitting and pray. Even you can pray with your eyes. If a sick person can pray with his eyes. Islam gave everything easy. <laughs> you pray with your eyes is okay, you pray with your head is okay, you pray with your body sitting is okay, you pray standing is okay, you pray lying down is okay. الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامَ وَقُعُونَهُ عَلَى شَنُكِبِهِ Those who remember Allah standing, sitting and laying down, Allah accept. <coughs> so don't give an excuse, they say, or say, oh, I cannot pray. No, you can pray. Even with your eyes you can pray. So that man came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam standing and pray, a Prophet is praying, uh, is giving the khutbah Jum'ah on Friday, the sermon. And the man said, Ya Rasulullah, what is the day of judgment? Prophet didn't answer. Another time Prophet didn't answer, he cannot cut it. Then third time he didn't answer, then Jibreel Alayhi Salam, Archangel Gabriel came and said, Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah sent you greetings, answer. Now can answer because the order came. So the khatib on the member cannot talk to anyone except he has to give his sermon. That's it. Even someone who is in masjid in, on Friday and the khatib, the speaker was in the on the member give, on the on the uh, carpet giving his khutbah, you cannot carry a beat in your hand. Is not allowed to have anything in your hand. Today, people they carry their telephones in their hand. They SMS, text message, they send emails, and when the speaker is speaking, what is Jum'ah then? That Jum'ah is is not is not perfect. So. Even the Sunnah prayer, you cannot pray it when the Imam is giving the sermon. When you enter the Majin and see the Imam giving the sermon, you have to sit down. Some people, they pray, it's not allowed. You sit. He, either you pray when he finished quickly, before the obligation prayer, or in between the two khutbah, you stand up and pray. In any case. He stood up and said, Ya Rasulullah, when is the day of judgment? Prophet said, after permission, granted to him. This is a long travel. Why you are prepare, what you are preparing for that travel? 
Hey, all the one long way. It's not because it is far. No, long way means in dunya you you go. This is from me now. In dunya you go and try to say, oh, it's long way. I have to protect the benefit of my children and grandchildren. They are going to live nicely. I have to work hard. I go and raise money in the banks, buy real estate, buy this, buy that. It's not doctor. To leave, to leave something for them. So a prophet is asking him, what you are preparing for that day? What you have of uh, uh, what assets in that day? Ali, leave it alone. You are going not, uh, the, the voice is going down now. What you are preparing for that day? Did you pray too much? Did you fast too much? Did you, did, are you good? What you are doing? What, the, what that poor guy said? He's from the desert. What do you think he knows? It's working. So. What do you think he knows? He knows sheep. He knows uh, shepherd. He knows goats. He might camels. Might be no cow even. He knows that. What he knows? And prophet said, what you are preparing? You know what he said? One word. You love your Muhammad. Nothing else. You love Muhammad? Yes, sir. Uh, you love Muhammad? You love Sayyidina Muhammad? Yes, sir. This is what he said. He said, Mahabbatak ya Rasulullah. You love your Muhammad. What prophet do you think he said? He said, he, he, He's not saying to him, Come in with us. He said, Okay, it's enough. Go. You want to go, go. It's enough. To show that love, that sincerity to say it to Prophet and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you love Prophet, you love Allah means you love everyone. You love his comments, you love you love to obey him. He didn't answer. He didn't he didn't enter in the masjid. He, he left and go. That was that love to Prophet was enough for that that way to be saved. So this is the basic of Islam. This is a basic uh, uh, principle of Islam. Animals, according to Islamic religion, animals do not enter in paradise, except two. The dog of Ashab al -Kahf, the dog of the people of the cave. They were throwing him with stones to, to make him to run away. He was running after them. Throwing him with stones, they are, he's running after them. And Allah said, leave him. He's with you. In the day of judgment, the only one can enter paradise. And the hudhud, the bird that he came to Sheba from Sayyidina Sulaiman. Oh people, the most important is that love that is, uh, you say, resonating. It is deep in the heart. You have to bring it out. Not only loving your family and your children and your grandchildren, it has to be the part of that, but you have to love the, 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 the people who, whom you hate. That is love. Love is to love someone because of his Lord, he created him. He created him in that manner. You love the Lord in him. You love prophets in him. You love that light that is being made up, that person. You have to love that he was being made from Adam, alayhi salam, from Adam and Eve. They were pure. Allah said in Holy Quran, we have honored the human being. Honoring us is enough to make everyone to love each other. Why Sahaba were giving up everything they had, the companion of Prophet, because they loved him? Why the disciple of Sayyidina of Jesus? Because they loved him. They gave everything possible. Sayyidina Musa, Bani Israel, the people of Israel, why they loved Sayyidina Musa? Because they loved him, they gave everything for him. Sayyidina Ibrahim, same. Sayyidina Noah, Noah same. So what is our duty? Our duty, if he loves me, 
or not, I don't, I don't care. I have to love him. That's my obligation. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes him to love me. May Allah forgive us. I will stop at that. Hurmat al Habib, Hurmat al Fatih. Come, Ali.